Hey everybody, it's Catherine. We are just at the start of the VIB Sephora sale. Uh, the Rouge members just started with their 20%. I wanted to get this video out, so I literally just got home from work. I got my Starbucks and let's get started. What is on my wish list or what I personally purchased so far for the Sephora sale? Historically, the past couple years, I've really tried not to spend too much on the Sephora sale because 20%, when you think about it, really isn't that much. But those high ticket items or items that rarely go on sale where you really uh, get a bit of a deal such as Dior or like the gift sets where the 20% off on top of them really makes each individual item lesser expensive. You can break them up and use them for stocking stuffers or um, office gifts or whatever. Those items I do tend to purchase for the Sephora sale just because, you know, it saves me some money. I tried to save up those items that I knew I would be replenishing just so that I saved some money. So let's just get into this video. I'm going to let you know what I per personally purchased or what I plan to purchase or what I would purchase if I could. My dream items or items that I might purchase, eh, we'll see. Let's cut the chit chat and get into it, shall we? Dolce & Gabbana Devotion. To be honest, I purchased this. I used it almost every day. Like I already have a pretty good dent going here. Really, really liked it. And then for some odd reason, about a couple weeks in, because I did purchase this before the Sephora sale. I couldn't wait, sorry. It started getting this weird, um, like, we'll call it spice cinnamony type note to it, which I didn't get initially. And it's a little off-putting. It's if you use those Bath & Body Works uh, wallflowers, if you leave them in and they kind of get a little bit burnt and then you get kind of that burnt wallflower smell with them, that's kind of the scent that I get. And it's not continuous. It's more, you know, like I said, I wore it for like two weeks, didn't have this issue, and now almost every time I wear it, like the first couple minutes that I'm wearing it, I get like that burnt wallflower scent and then that diminishes and I have this enjoyable lemon cake, delicious scent. Um, so I like that part of it enough that I overlook the burnt wallflower scent. If you like gourmand lemon birthday cake type scents, you're really gonna like this one. Just get past that initial burnt cinnamon type scent. Sephora favorites. This, uh, you get the Fenty Beauty Mini mascara you get a full size beauty blender uh extra strength daily pill dennis gross alpha beta extra strength daily pill a full size lawless lip filler in velvet kale green tea and spinach vitamins by that youth to the people a full size kvd black pencil black eyeliner pencil amika perk up dry shampoo Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray by Charlotte Tilbury. A makeup eraser mini. Full-size milk makeup blush in, in work. And lastly, Huda Beauty Baby Bake Loose Setting Powder in Banana Bread. I am torn on this one. I keep going back and forth whether or not I should keep it or return it. I love the full size beauty blender. That alone is $20. This entire set was $58. So if you wanted the full size in the beauty blender, the full size in the lawless, that alone would basically equate to purchasing this entire kit. It's a little shy, yeah, but still. I think together that would be like $45 as opposed to the $58. And then you get these extra items. So. In this package, let me tell you, I love beauty blenders, use them religiously. My cat unfortunately also loves them, which is why I need a new one, if you know what I mean. The Daily Pill, Dr. Dennis Gross, a great chemical peel. If you don't have it, the Lawless Forget the Filler lip gloss, this is a great color. I did a shorts of it recently. I will include maybe a little blip of that so you see the color on, but obviously I have that color. Do I need another? Uh, kale, green tea, spinach, and vitamins. Love this face wash. Amika Perk Up Dry Shampoo, one of my favorite perk up shampoos. I use the Charlotte Tilbury. I don't need another one. I just bought the Duo at the Nordstrom sale, so I really don't need another of that. 
I have not tried the milk, up, milk makeup. I was curious about it. We do, Gracie likes them too, the mini um, makeup erasers so that I could use. And then the Hue to Beauty Bake and Blend, I have the Pink Cherry Blossom. I have not tried Banana Bread. My skin tends to have a jaundice yellow tint to it anyway. So I don't know about the how the Banana Bread shade would look on me. However, this is a great set wonderful wonderful products in here a great discount a great deal if you don't have those items i have a good portion of them so that's why i go back and forth if i need to keep this we'll see if you don't have those items highly recommend this is the sephora favorites set touchland blue sandalwood power mist this is i think my sixth scent of these i love them they're quick and easy um, I keep them in my car, just spray, spray, spray on my hands, you know, after I get gas or to and from work. Love the items. Some scents are touch and go. I might make a quick shorts of which ones I would recommend and which ones I would not. These are $10 a pop though, which is a little expensive. And considering um, I teach pre-K, so I go through these like water. The $10 is a little off-putting, but again, with the 20% makes it a good deal. I will go through, again, this is blue sandalwood. Obviously, I have yet to try it, but I will let you know which ones I recommend and which ones I do not. Look down below in the information section where all of these links will be located for your convenience. There will be affiliate links, which means I get a small portion, like a commission with purchase that doesn't add cost to you. It just helps me and my channel out so that I can keep making these videos for you because Lord knows this gets expensive. I like making the videos. I really enjoy being a YouTuber and making these videos and getting them out to you and the conversations that I have. So to me, it's worth it. But as I said, it would really help me out if you used my link so that I did get a little bit of monetary help in all of this. But again, no pressure, no pressure, just saying. That being said, hit subscribe if you haven't yet so that you stay informed when I post my videos. That would also help me out. Make sure to like this video. Feel free to follow me on Instagram or TikTok. I am active on both of those channels, so please find me there. That would be great as well. I'd love to see you there. I got the Makeup Forever Mini Pencils Kit. I was really excited about this. And then when I went to purchase it online, they were already out, but I was able to get it at my local Sephora store, so yay. Um, this comes with number 100, 104, 600, 606, and 608 whatever black all around white anywhere caffeine wherever walnut and limitless brown i do not have anywhere caffeine or wherever walnut i don't think decided to try these the awesome thing about these is you can use them for whatever you can use them for lip liner you can use them for eyeliner you can use them for eyebrow pencils obviously the black and the white probably won't work as well for either of those things i really like how makeup artists and a lot of makeup lines these days are making products that are so versatile you can wear them for eyeshadow blush lipstick whatever you do want to be careful a few items such as those um, they say specifically do not use on eyes or whatever. So do pay attention to that. There's some certain dyes that will um, be more sensitive to your eyes than others. So please inform yourself before you use products like this on all items of your face. But I consider makeup an art and it just makes it all the more fun when you have one product that can be versatile and you can use it on other areas of your face. So just say it. The Fenty Beauty Fruit Quench Hydrating Conditioning Lip Oil Duo. This comes in Kalahari Melon and Barbados Cherry. Uh, this was literally a spontaneous purchase. I threw it in my cart under the Sephora checkout line. Um, but I love lip oils. Y'all know I love my Dior lip oils, so I thought it'd be a good comparison of the two. See if you can save some money. And I do like that they're tinted. Not tinted. I do like that they're scented. Makes it a bit more fun. So it's an extra spur of the moment, throw-in cart type thing. Sephora. Sephora brand products. You get that extra 30% as opposed to the 20%. So I love these masks. I got the hand and the foot masks. I think they're fun. Gracie and I love to do them for spa nights. Sometimes other people, such as my mom, join in in our spa night festivities, so I got extras. But these, they're like $5, $3.50, $4 a piece. So with that 20%, it makes them relatively um, inexpensive, and I think they're fun. But mango hand masks, 
um, cucumber hand and foot masks and then coconut foot masks. They also make great gifts that I love to throw in when I give presents to my coworkers or my friends. I love to make like self-care gifts. A hand mask, a foot mask, a face mask, and then the Laneige, which I'm about to talk about, but I ordered the Laneige gift set that cam comes with the five minis. I absolutely love the Laneige sleeping lip masks personally. They have each have a different scent and taste and they make great gifts. So I love to get at um, Sephora gift time, these the box of the five minis, and then I break it up and give it to gifts to people in like a set, like, you know, a hand mask, a foot mask, and then the little Laneige. Um, it just makes a cute little gift, fairly inexpensive and fun. I mean, who doesn't love self-care? That is one thing that I added to my cart that I will be getting. I have not gotten my Sephora order that I ordered online yet. So that will be coming, but I do that every year. Fun time. One that I don't recommend. I got their Urban Decay Moon Dust in, in Grind. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I was Barbie for Halloween. I thought this would be so fun to wear as a liner on top of my liner um, for eyeliner. And um, it didn't come out like you barely could see it. It was a couple specks here and there and then it ended up irritating my eyes like about a minute in after where I had to wash it off and start my eye makeup all over again which was kind of a bummer because I'd already done everything. So I do not recommend this. It is so pretty in the jar and I was so beyond excited about it. it didn't work out so that will be going back. Thanks but no thanks. Urban Decay. Then I went a little crazy on the Urban Decay eyeliners. Like I said, I was Barbie. I couldn't commit to whether I wanted to do pink eyeshadow or purple eyeshadow. So I wanted to be prepared. I thought, screw it. I'll buy both and then return whatever I choose not to wear. And then I ended up going rogue and wearing silver. So, um, so I'm still trying to decide if I'm going to keep these or not. I got Woodstock, which was a vibrant magenta type shade. Vice, which was a purple, like a straight true purple, which I think would be really pretty with hazel eyes. And then Viper, which was like a glitter purple. I am debating whether or not I'm keeping the purple ones. The pink one is going back though. I actually am allergic to um, the dye that they use in a lot of pink eye products and it just makes my eyes water and water and water. So not worth it to me. I thought for Barbie for one night I could handle it, but not worth it. Um, with the 20% off, I think these were $20 as opposed to $25. Really like Urban Decay eyeliners though. It's a 24-7 glide on eye pencil. They are very, very smooth. Um, they blend like a dream. However, if you want it to be waterproof, put it on, leave it on, um, don't touch it, and then it'll last longer. However, if you apply it and then immediately blend, it blends like a dream. If you don't want it to blend, like I said, apply it, leave it, it'll stay. Jury's still out on whether or not we're keeping these. That is everything that I bought so far at the Sephora sale. I will say I bought this one early without being on sale, which was kind of stupid, but I saw the shade online and I was excited to try it. So, uh, But it is Urban Decay, again, Lip Bond Unbreakable Liquid Lip Color. Instant Shine in All Day Intensity. I got OG Back Talk. Uh, I did a shorts on this. Let me tell you, the lasting power of this is beyond remarkable. It has kind of a sticky feel that bothered me a little bit because I'm kind of texture sensitive with what I put on my lip. Even a little bit of the satin shine and the color literally lasted me until I washed my makeup off at the end of the day. So I applied it, we'll say 7, 7.30 for work, get home, 6.37 at night, I had to wash it off. So this baby lasts. I can't speak to other shades. Maybe it was just this particular one. Who knows? But OG Back Talk, like I said, I did a shorts. I will link it below if you want to see it. But I was very impressed with these. And if I see a shade that I'm interested in, I might buy more. Again, you shake it before application. But I, I recommend these. I mean, Urban Decay. Like I used it in high school, I used it in college. Seems like a teeny bopper type brand, but hey, I'm in my 40s and I am still using Urban Decay. So, you know, no shame. I got 6% left on my iPad. So we gotta rush through this here, but what I ordered, I ordered 
replenishment of my Dior Backstage Foundation. I am contemplating whether or not I want to try another House Labs. If you remember, I got a House Labs Foundation last year about this time at the Sephora VI Bay sale. I got the wrong shade. So I was super impressed with how it looked, but it was the wrong shade, so I had to return it. So I might get the correct shade this year. They also, House Labs just came out with a concealer. I've heard really good things about it. I, so I'm interested to try that as well. I don't really have need of more foundation right now, so that's where I'm torn, especially if I just replenished my backstage Dior, but um, we'll see. We'll see on that. I am really interested to try it. So in terms of what I ordered, I got a couple more Power Mist Touchland Hydrating Hand Sanitizers. I guess I only ended up getting one more because they were out of the other one that I wanted to get, but I got Beach Cocoa, so we'll see on that. I ended up getting, getting the Makeup by Maro Ethereal Eyes Palette because I wanted to compare it to my brand new Natasha Denona one that I just got. I think that they'll probably be pretty comparable, but they're both so beautiful. I wanted to try just in case. Oh, I did. I got Touchland Power Mist Hydrating Hand Sanitizer in Velvet Peach. Love me a peach scent. Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Primer, which I told you I needed to replenish and plan to buy. Merit Mini Blush Balm Cream Blush Set. You get a set of Trio. I believe that they are mini size, but I'm really impressed with them. It's a clean makeup line. I really like the packaging. It always looks very glam, very high class, and um, the blushes are always a very natural color. It gives you kind of a bit of a dewy look without being wet. It just kind of a fresh look to the skin, so I was interested to try those. I got the Tom Ford Soleil Neige Highlighter in both the pink and the gold shade. I don't know that I'll keep both. They're so expensive, but I heard that they were so gorgeous and they look so beautiful. I wanted to at least get to try them because my Sephora here has barely anything. So you can't try anything unless you buy it and then return it. So it sucks, but what I got to do. The Midnight Mini set of the Laneige Lip Masks, like I said. Then the Armani Beauty Luminous Silk Blush Duo. Uh, they're so beautiful. They glide on. They wear remarkably. Highly recommend Armani blushes. And these ones in particular, it was like a natural pink color, like a rosebud, um, rosewood type shade. And then this light pink, which is similar to NARS Orgasm, but so beautiful. And like I said, they just apply like velvet to your skin. So gorgeous. Um, the Givenchy Prism Libre Loose Powder Blush in Organza Cien. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Again, one of those high price point items that with the 20% off, it makes it almost a deal. Uh, but I was really excited to try it. I've heard good things. I wanted to at least get to experience it. We'll see if I keep it. And um, that was it. So not that that was it. That was a very healthy basket full of goodies there. Um, we'll see what I end up keeping. It was fairly costly. It was more than I anticipated spending and more than I wish I spent. But um, like I said, I might not keep everything. We'll see. I have more than enough product right now. It actually stresses me out how much that I have. It's overwhelming. Um, literally, I'm, I'm getting heart palpitations thinking about how much I have. I have too much. It's not okay. So we really need to cut down on that for both my wallet, finances, and just peace of mind. It's conspicuous consumption. I don't need that much. Uh, regardless, it enables me to make these videos for you guys, which I love to do. Let me know what you plan on getting at the Sephora sale or what you already got. I would be very excited to hear if there's anything that I need to get that I didn't put in my cart. Please make sure to let me know. Yeah, so that's everything. I want to make a favorites video. Oh, 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 I want to also hopefully pick up the princess by Killian, it, Prince, uh, Killian came out with Princess Eau Fresh, which is supposed to be like a fresher version of Princess. They added bergamot to it, so it's supposed to be like a, um, like I said, a fresher version of Princess. With Princess, Princess is already a beautiful, beautiful scent. So to add that bergamot, I think will be lovely. So hopefully they make it in a roller bar form, roller ball form, so I won't feel guilty adding that too. Um, so hopefully I can pick that up too. Dyson always is out of their items during the Sephora sale. So I hesitate to even mention Dyson, but I did get the defrizzing 
uh, tool that you can add to the air styler and it really does work well. It just smooths all the frizzes and gives you just this nice blowout look. Um, I'm not very good with my hair, y'all know that, but that tool I would highly recommend if they have it in stock in terms of hair products in general. Anything Kerastase or Orbe, jump on. Um, Kerastase or Orbe, they're individual websites. You typically can get 20% off fairly often, so I wouldn't be too hyper about um, replenishing products if you have need of them, but um, always recommend Orbe and Kerastase products. Better Not Younger, I've really been enjoying their products lately, particularly their butter mask for the hair. Use it in place of your conditioner. Christoph Robin, their purple mask for blonde. I am loyal user of, I use that at least once a week to keep my blonde in check. I uh, would highly recommend that, as well as their sea salt exfoliant. Way, the St. Bart's scent, love it. Love it, would swim in it. Um, so I would recommend the body wash, the body cream, or the um, exfoliant in that. Sol de Janeiro, their Boom Boom Cream, Bea Flor, always lovely if you have need of body products. Dior, anything Dior, like I said, great time to purchase anything Dior to get that 20% off because those tend to be higher price point products, but also very high quality, always worth, well, most always worth the cost. Tom Ford, another high point overpriced, we'll say, brand, but with the 20% off almost makes it reasonable and their products tend to almost always be well worth it. Killian is carrying more products, more fragrances at Sephora lately, so that would be a good one to get if you have need or desire of Killian fragrances. Also a great deal is this Sephora fragrance set because you can get like a 20% off or something in the future of a full-size bottle of one of the samples that they include in those boxes. So if you don't like any of the fragrances in the set, that's not a good deal. But if you were wanting to purchase one anyway, you kind of end up getting the set for free because you get such a good deal on the bottle of perfume that you purchase. But like I said, it's gotta be one of those. So make sure you like those. And quite frankly, there weren't any that I was like, eh, need to have to have this year. But a good deal if there was one. Men in your life, same thing. They have the cologne set, which is great fragrances. I just don't have need of any of those scents right now. Oh, Hourglass, the ambient lighting palette. Got the cheetah one from the website when they first launched it and like it. I'm still kind of using or learning how to use it. I did just post a video on um, to get ready with me using that palette. So check that out if you're interested. The Natasha Denona, I need a nude palette. Highly recommend if you don't have it. I have used that almost every day since I purchased it. Love it. Highly cannot recommend enough if you do not have that one. There's so many things that I want to try, but it's like, I don't have to have them. Patrick Ta, their blushes are very, very nice with the dewy one as well as the powder one. You layer the dewy on top of the powder one, which is different, but gives a beautiful um, effect. Oh, Valentino, another one. I don't really have very many Valentino products, but I would love to. Gucci, another one. I only have the bronzer, but I would love to get more of their products. So another high ticket, high price point that with the 20% off almost makes it reasonable. So check out Valentino and Gucci if you're interested in those. Love you all so much. I only have like 3% left on my iPad. So I'm just going to say goodbye now unless I, in case I run out of battery. So love you all. I appreciate you all. And I will see you soon. Happy Halloween. It's like Christmas here, though. It snowed today. We woke up to a blanket of snow on the ground. So it's like, is it Halloween? Is it Christmas? Yeah, it could go either way.